Hi everyone, it's Nicole again and today I just wanted to share how I created this really fun, colorful wedding theme card. So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the products that I used. I'm using the Happy Wedding set along with its coordinating dies, Owens ABCs and its coordinating dies. And I'm going to be using the uh, stitch rectangles, I'm going to be using the small set, as well as the inks and Peacock, Mermaid, Fish Tank, and Black Licorice. Okay, so to get started, um, I already went ahead and taped down a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock to my clipboard. And I'm also only going to be using two colors here of the stressing to do my watercoloring. So the yellow is the scattered straw and the blue is tumbled glass. It's a really light blue, which I think looks really great. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a wash here. I have a little cup of water off to the side. And I'm going to start off by adding a little bit of the scatter straw color in the center. Just wanted to share um, the paintbrush and um, share where I got it from. I actually got all of my brushes from Michaels a couple years back. Um, they're really high quality and I really love them. So when you're looking for um, paintbrushes at Michaels, well first of all you want to take your 50% off coupons. <laughs> But um, you want to make sure that you're looking for the actual watercolor brushes because they have different types for different mediums for like the acrylic and you know watercolor. So you want to make sure you're buying an actual watercolor brush because it does make all the difference. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of the tumble glass and I'm just adding it to the top and the bottom. I just wanted to do something a little bit different here. And I'm using my, um, it's a Martha Stewart heat uh, like a heat tool and I also bought that at Michaels and I think well the last time I was at Michaels was probably like last weekend um, The lot of the Martha Stewart stuff is 50% off right now. So maybe you could go ahead and um, find one of those Really cheap right now <laughs> So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of layering um, and if you watched my last video, um, I showed in greater detail exactly how I go about doing this. But in this video, it's also showing how I do my watercoloring and how I do my layering and just kind of have fun with it and just so that I could get this type of result. I think it's really fun. So the tape was coming up a little bit there. I just want to make sure to keep that down. Okay, and that's the finished result with the two colors. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the images here. I have a stack of um, scraps that I like to keep um, for times like this when I'm making cards and things like that from leftover projects. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these scraps instead of taking out a brand new piece of paper. So what I'm doing is taking out this um, really cute uh, cake. It's like a wedding cake. Or you could even use it... Um, like as a birthday cake or something else. I mean, because these stamps are really versatile and you could use them in a lot of different ways. But today it's going to be for a wedding cake. So I went ahead and also stamped out the little bride and groom because I'm going to be putting that on top of the cake. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of Copic coloring. And what I, I really am going for here is to try to make it look like a fondant cake. So um, I'm just adding color to the bottom layer is going to be a little bit darker uh, than the top layer but I'm also going to go ahead and leave the heart and the piping white just to make it look like a wedding cake you know where the piping's white and then the actual fondant is like a different color just kind of having fun with it <laughs> so you can see here that the top layer or the top tier is a little bit lighter and I think that looks really cute kind of like a little ombre effect <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go ahead and take uh actually I was looking for a gray and I couldn't find it um and then I realized that my Copic gray is still empty I haven't filled it yet so I just took out this Spectrum Noir gray um for the cake stand and then I'm just going to go ahead and color in these little birds the way I usually do, little bluebird style. <laughs> I think that's really cute. And I'm just going to go ahead and color in these beaks. 
And, and then I'm using the same uh, markers that I used for the cake on her, the little flower on her head, just so that it matches. And now I'm just taking the coordinating dies. I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere these with some low-tack tape that I also bought from Michaels. I, I buy this type of tape from Michaels or Target, depending on which one is cheaper. And then I just went ahead and cut that off camera just to save some time. And there it is. I always love the reveal because I'm like, did I line it up right? And is the, the little white border, is it perfect? That's something that I always look for. So, oh my gosh, these are the two, two of the new colors that came out in the new collection from Lawn Fawn. And they're amazing. And, and they fit perfectly with the first collection that um, they came out with. So I'm just super excited about all the new colors. And um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm trying to figure out the arrangement um, for it because I'm, I'm going to be spelling out hooray with Owen's ABCs and um, I just want to have like a sequence of colors in order. So I'm just, I was just trying to figure out which order I wanted to do them in. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that in the fish tank ink. And it was a little splotchy but it's actually because I haven't used Owen's ABCs until right now. It's kind of shocking. But um, it, so it was... I had, I had to do it again and just um, stamp it one more time, if that's okay. Okay, so now I'm using Peacock. Oh, no, that was Mermaid. And then right now I'm using Peacock. And then all these colors, you can see how beautiful they look together. I just love the inks. And then I really, really just fell in love with Owen's ABCs right when I saw it. And I wanted to create a lot of different things with it. I think this is such a great set. Like I know, I, I think I say that about every Lawn Fawn set, but it's true. It's just everything that they make is perfect and it's great and I just love it. So I already have like so many different ideas on how I want to use this set, but for right now I'm just gonna go ahead and make this card. But I think even, um, if you saw one of the projects I made, it was a uh, little milk carton. It was a wedding favor, and I used one of the hearts from this alphabet set just as a little embellishment. And you could do a lot of things like that. And Kelly even mentioned that you could do monograms with it. Or I would imagine taking the um, the little critters from Party Animal and having each of them hold like a letter in their hands to to create a little sentiment or like a happy birthday card or something like that. But when using the Lawn Fawn inks with this set, I think it's just like perfect. I just love it. I love their inks and I think that their inks and this set go perfect together. So off camera, I went ahead and ran the, these through the cuddle bug and look at how the colors go together. It's just so cute. I just love it so much. So now I'm just trying to figure out the arrangement here. Well, it's not really staying, but you, you get the idea. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go ahead and take the largest die from the small stitch rectangle stackables set. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, die cut out this little watercolor piece here because I want that stitch edge effect. I think it's beautiful. And I also want a little bit of a border um, um, in the background from when I prop it up on the 3D adhesive foam and then put it on a top folding card base. So here I'm just figuring out the arrangement and the placement of the cake and the, the two birds. So I think that looks really cool. And I also want to take this sentiment here, um, the you tied the knot sentiment, and put that on the bottom. And I want to make sure that the hooray is um, straight. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my T-square ruler and a pencil. I'm just going to make a little mark here. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, add the 3D adhesive foam, the Scotch 3D adhesive foam to the back of all the little pieces that I'm going to add um, to the watercolor panel. So there's the cake and now I'm just going to go ahead and do the birds and then do the alphabet. I'm sorry, I mean the, uh, the hooray letters. Oh, 
Okay, so what I want to do first is go ahead and get the stamping out of the way. Um, so I'm taking one of my Lawn Fawn blocks here. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that in the black licorice Lawn Fawn ink. Stamp that right there. I wanted to make sure that I did that first because I don't want to add um, all the images and the letters and then have to kind of stamp after because it's I didn't want it to be splotchy. So I thought it would be better just to get that out of the way and do it then and there. And I'm just going to take my eraser and kind of remove a little bit of the pencil marking because I think as soon as I start setting up the letters it's going to be hard for me to get the eraser um, in that area and try to take it off. So what I'm going to do here is start arranging the letters the way I want to but um, I didn't realize until I got to the end that I kind of spaced them out too wide so you're going to see me um, remove some of the letters and then kind of scoot it over and start over again. And I really love using the EK Success tweezers because sometimes I feel like when I'm arranging things on, on um, a card base, like my fingers kind of get in the way and I'm really, um, sometimes I don't line up things perfectly when I'm not using the tweezers. Uh, so I really like using these. Okay, and I think here, this is when I realized that it wasn't going to fit. So uh, what I did was I went and I grabbed um, one of my tools for the Cricut, and it's one of the scraper tools. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's to scrape stuff off after you've cut it on the Cricut, so I'm just using that. It's kind of like a little spatula. I'm using that to kind of scrape um, the 3D adhesive foam off without ripping the paper. So I mean, and this happens to me a lot, and I'm sure as a crafter this happens to you too where you have to kind of take it off and then do it all over again, but I don't like when, especially on a watercolor piece, I don't like when I when I peel it off with my fingers and then it kind of rips the paper. So I found that using a little, this little spatula tool works really well. And um, the back of the 3D adhesive foam is still, um, like you're still able to use the adhesive. It's still sticky. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere the cake and adhere the little birds. And so far I already love the combination of colors. I just love how it all comes together and how it looks. I think it's really pretty. And this is what I'm talking about here. It's a little bit easier to center when I'm using the tweezers. Okay, just gonna add them to the top. I think this is so cute. I just love this set. And now I always like using the little um, elements that come in all these sets. So I'm just gonna use this little music note here to make it look like they're chirping or singing. And at first I thought about using it in black, but I already used the black on the sentiment, so I thought it would be nice to take Hippo and use that because it's a little bit lighter but you'll still be able to see it. I think that's perfect. Okay so now the the hard work is done, the panel's done and I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit more of the Scotch 3D foam adhesive tape and apply a little bit of that or a lot of it actually to um, the back of the panel here. And I think I should invest in one of those big rolls of the Scotch 3D foam because I, I do actually use a lot of it. And I think one of these um, little rolls from Michaels is like $7. Um, so that's kind of expensive. I mean, I do use the coupon, but it's still, I think I need to invest in that super huge roll because it would be worth my, worth my money. <laughs> I do use this a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this panel to a top folding card base, the A2 size. Just trying to center it from the back of the camera. It's a little hard sometimes. But there you go. That's the entire card. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. And I hope you enjoy 
um, all the the new stamp sets that Lawn Fonts come out with and all the inks and I hope you enjoy learning new ways to use everything and thank you so much for watching. Bye!